David Kurtz for TPM Media. We're here in St. Paul on Wednesday morning with Rich Lowry of National Review. Rich, there was a panel discussion here sponsored by Politico, with Tom DeLay and Rick Cantor and yourself, uh, in addition to Rick Santorum. And there was there was some back and forth between you and uh, former Congressman DeLay on whether there were uh, problems within the Republican Party, policy problems, the war, and and issues that were politically unfavorable to the Republicans that caused their demise, or whether it was the result of a decades-long attack from the left. And I'm curious, give me your perspective on that on that argument. Sure. Well, first of all, congratulations, although it's very grudging from my end on what you guys do at TPM. I read it all the time, Thank just you. to keep on uh, up on what's going, although I don't always like it. Um, yeah, I think, you know, Congressman DeLay, well, a couple things. One, um, there was a decade-long assault. But I think as a conservative, you know, I believe the media is biased, and that's something conservatives always have to deal with. Um, and you just have to be, Republicans, I think, have to be better and cleaner uh, than the other side. And they weren't. And they did get fat and happy. And Congressman DeLay could talk about some, you know, initiatives they passed in 2005. But none of them were really, you know, big um, imagination-catching sort of ideas, and I think that's what we on the right lack at the moment and need to develop. You and I are both old enough to remember when that was the sort of argument that the left was having internally. Sure. Yeah. I mean, does it feel, it sort of felt like to me, like DeLay was still fighting battles, four or five-year-old battles, um, trying to redeem his reputation, that type of thing, as opposed to the sort of forward-looking policy yeah. prescriptions that you're talking about. I don't think that's entirely fair, because he was talking about how um, the left now has sort of leaped ahead of the right in terms of organization, and that's something the right needs to catch up, uh, catch up with. So I don't think that's entirely fair. I do think, though, um, the premise of your question is fair in the respect that you're always, as as a movement that's on, you know, out of power at the moment, you're always going to have this debate, and this is what you had in the left, whether you need to kind of update, modernize, get fresher, or just mobilize your own people. And left for a long time was just mobilize your own people. And I would still argue, I think the Democrats basically won by default in 2006. This year, although they have an, an incredibly energizing figure in Barack Obama, I still think it will more or less be in default. The people um, you know, can't stand the Republican Party at the moment. And I don't think Democrats will be winning um, because they have exciting, fresh new ideas themselves. They have an exciting and fresh new personality in an environment that's poisonous for Republicans. And that'll probably be enough to win this year. But I think the, the intellectual game will still be up for grabs. Well, that's curious, I mean, because the the thing that uh, Tom DeLay seemed to be arguing was that the poisonous atmosphere wasn't a result of anything the Republicans had done. It was a result of outside circumstances. And that's where you seem to take issue in saying that, well, no, there's, there's policy things that we have done that have made us unpopular. The Iraq War, for example. Yeah, well, I think, um, one, there was definitely corruption. There are a lot of people who are corrupt and self-interested, and the public's going to reject you, and rightfully so, if that's the case. And two, although I was a supporter of the Iraq War at the beginning, I'm a supporter of the Iraq War, now there was a period there where it was being awfully mismanaged, and Republicans weren't um, blowing the whistle on it. And there was a Republican you know, president uh, managing the war, and Republicans are supposed to be you know, the responsible, competent adults and just for a long time during that occupation, they weren't, and they paid a price for it. We appreciate your time, Rich. This is David Kurtz for TPM Media in St. Paul.